This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is master data and technical objects in customer service module. Okay, so in the customer service module, we will be using various master data, okay, and also various technical objects. So what are those? Okay, and we will have high level overview about them in this session. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover, we will see what are the master data objects we are going to use in customer service, their importance, what is their importance, why we need to use them, we will understand, and that various technical objects in customer service module. Okay, then we will discuss about functional location, equipment, okay, serial numbers, bill of material, and installed base installed base so these are the ones we will be discussing so in this session we will have a high level overview on this particular topics okay so first we will start with the master data used in customer service okay so in the customer service module these are the master data used one is material master first one is a material master okay next one is customer master now in s4 hana it is called as business partner okay in the in the subsequent sessions we will be creating the business part okay and also sometimes we will be using vendor master okay sometimes suppose let's say some spare parts are required for repair activity okay but that spare part is not available in our organization so you need to purchase it so to purchase it you need a vendor so in that case vendor master is required okay then the work center work center we have discussed in the previous session okay what is work center on top of that from the fi perspective we need cost center and we need activity types these are purely fi fi i will show you how to maintain them i will show you in the system let me go to the particular topic okay so main master data from the logistics perspective is material master customer master vendor master and work center okay so now the material master so basically the material master is the is the master data where you maintain the information about your product so normally from the customer service module perspective you manufacture a product okay and you sell it to the customer okay so that product is created as a material in the system so normally it is created as fert with material type fert okay finished product okay in the in the subsequent sessions we will be creating a fert material and we will be understanding how it is used okay so in the material master record the the relevant departments will maintain their data in their views basically okay so purchasing team if it is a if it is a raw material if it is a raw material then the purchasing people will maintain their data in purchasing if it is if it is a finished product in our case sales people will maintain their data in sales views okay so responsible departments will maintain their data for that particular material in their views basically okay so in the in the when we go to the metal master topic we will be creating normally two materials one is for finished product because we are we are going to sell this finished product to the customer another one is we will be creating another material service material with material type diel because we are going to do services right so sometimes you have to sell your services so we will be creating a material with material type dike services so that we will be doing when we go to the material master topic so this is one master data next so this is what i just discussed okay we will be creating both service material and service product we will be creating both in the system okay and also uh, uh, we will be uh, once this so material is created finished product is created we will be creating equipment for that material equipments on with all the serial numbers serial numbers and also you if you if you want to plan a component spare parts then that spare parts also need to be created as materials of course this material master creation is the responsibility of normally mm team mm team takes care of it but in the subsequent session we will be creating materials just to understand okay so this is material master now next one is customer okay
okay so customer service module basically you will be dealing with your customer you sell the product to the customer okay then later on customer will give a complaint that product is not working properly okay so that you will be dealing all the time with the customer in customer service module. so we have to create that customer in the system so you will maintain the customer information what is a customer name where he is located his address his telephone number his email id okay in what uh, currency you are going to make the payment to the uh, uh, receiving the money from the customer okay all that information you will maintain okay so now in s4 hana it is called as bp business partner we will be creating that in the s4 hana okay so customer master is very important from uh, cs perspective customer service model perspective so we will be creating both this one federal master and customer master okay now after that vendor master of course vendor master uh, not used much okay only in case of spare parts procurement uh, procurement you need a vendor okay from whom we are going to purchase the spare parts so that time we will see the vendor master okay so also sometimes uh, sometimes what happens is our internal technicians are not able to do the servicing not able to re repair the product that time you will hire a external vendor for servicing okay so that time you will be using the vendor master so we will see the vendor master also in the system okay now the next one is work center okay as i explained earlier in the previous session work centers are basically are a, are a single person or a single person or a group of people responsible for service activity they are the real technicians who does the service activity okay so we will be creating them in the system as work centers okay in the subsequent sessions we will be creating these work centers and also we will be covering the configuration required for the work centers so now these are the all the master data objects now we will talk about technical objects technical objects in the customer service model okay so the technical objects are main ones are functional location uh, equipment okay and assemblies nothing but bombs bill of materials and serial numbers and serial numbers i will explain one by one on a high level and when we go to that topic we will be creating them in the system we will understand them in detail and what is the configuration required all those things we will discuss so first one is the functional location okay. so functional location is like an area functional location is an elements in a in a technical structure and represent areas of a system at which objects can be installed suppose let's say from cs perspective you are manufacturing a product you are selling the product to the customer okay now you are selling the product to the customer the customer has different units okay and in the units they have different departments so you are selling the same product to the customer that products are located in different places okay so now you want to know where exactly which product is located in the customer place so to know that you create a functional location i want to know my products where they are exactly located in the customer place in which department let's say production department utility department warehouse department okay i want to know exactly suppose let's say you are a laptop manufacturing company okay a laptop manufacturing or let's say you are a pc manufacturing company and you are you are selling pcs to a customer Okay. the customer has many units so i want to know different pieces located at that customer place exactly at what place they are located so to know that you need a functional location functional location is like an area it is like a an area okay, where your equipments or objects are located okay so the criteria can be special technical or functional basis on this criteria you will be creating the functional location structure so then you will come to know where exactly our machines our products are located at customer place okay so when we go to the functional location topic we will be creating all these things 
we will create a structure of customer place okay so that is the functional location now the next one is equipment equipment are individual objects that are to be regarded as autonomous units equipment are like individual product from the customer service point of view suppose let's say you you manufacture a product okay you manufacture a product you sell it to the customer now from sd point of view it is called as product now from cs point of view it is called as equipment equipment, equipment. So that we will create in the system because to create a service order equipment is mandatory so we will be creating the equipment this is the we will be creating equipment so here in the in the customer service module we will be using the equipment category as customer equipment remaining all normally are used in plant maintenance module remaining categories okay so when you are creating equipment there will be a category called yes that category we will be using customer equipment okay so basically equipment from cs perspective it is the product product which you which you sold it to the customer okay and it is located at a customer place it's like an individual machine or a product okay so we will be creating the equipment and then we will be installing at the functional location the functional location structure we created in the uh, discussed uh, earlier there we will install it so that you will come to know which product exactly located at which place so that is equipment okay so if you, if, you, if you go to the system you can see that suppose let's say i'm trying to create equipment ie01 okay here equipment category if you click on the list you see here there is a category called yes customer equipment so normally all these are created with yes category yes so when we go to equipment topic that time we will create how to create equipments manually through ie01 how to create them automatically all those things we will come here okay the next one is serial numbers okay so serial number is basically the number assigned to each individual item of the material okay serial numbers serial numbers are given to materials in order to differentiate them from other items suppose let's say you have iphone you have iphone 14 pro let's say different people have a same iphone 14 pro then how you will identify each iphone ident separately so for each iphone each iphone piece they will assign a serial number unique serial number so in the same way for each equipment we are selling each product we are selling we will be assigned a unique serial number okay they enable the pieces of material to be regarded as individual items and inventory management can be carried out for serial numbers okay? so normally in the customer service module whenever we receive a complaint from the customer we will ask him what is a product what is a model and then we will ask him what is a serial number also B means the customer care department. Suppose let's say in your house you have a refrigerator. Refrigerator is not working. Then you call the customer care. Then the customer care person will first ask you what is a product refrigerator, what is a model, when it is purchased. Then he will ask the serial number also. So that serial numbers we are talking about. Okay. So normally we will have equipment and material, uh, material and the serial number, unique combination. There will be a unique combination of this. We will see that. We will create again. We will create serial numbers manually. We will create serial numbers automatically. All those things we will come here. Okay. So normally in the equipment master, there will be a view called serialization data tab. In the tab, you will assign the material, nothing but construction type, and the unique serial number to the equipment. We will see all those things when we go to the serial numbers top okay now the next one is assemblies assemblies are used to structure functional locations and pieces of equipment in more detail these are considered as bomb items and not as individual items so assemblies are nothing but bombs 
pounds basically so let's say you have a equipment in the in the equipment you have a lot of spare parts okay uh, casing gasket couplings so those things all those things are created as bomb for that equipment for that equipment of course you can create a material bomb also okay so we will be covering all the three types of bombs equipment bomb functional location bomb and material bomb all three we will create and we will understand how they are used during the service processing when, when, when you are doing in-house repair or a repair it on site when you are using those business processes how these bombs are used so these are basically for spare part planning spare part procurement planning a spare part planning in the order service order these are used so how these are created how they are used we will understand when we go to the bill of material topic okay so basically important spare parts are maintained in the bill of material along with their material code and their quantities okay so that is the importance of bomb after that we will go to the installed base which is exclusively for cs module okay this is just for reporting purpose just we want to know the multi-level structure of your product present at the customer site okay multi-level structure of components for managing both products at the customer site and products that are used sometimes internally but normally at customer site the installed base describes the structure of these products and their components you will get the entire structure using this installed base Okay. So when we go to the top installed base topics, we will create installed base, how it is used for reporting purpose, all those things we will understand. It is a multi-level structure of components for managing the products. It describes the structure of these products and their components. So the components can be anything. It can be a functional location. It can be equipment. It can be a material number. It can be a serial number or installations or even documents all those things are maintained in the installed base we will be creating the installed base and we will understand its significance okay so that is all the uh, master data and your technical objects okay